So I'm studying green shell mussels, which is the only mussel farmed commercially in New Zealand. It's the one that you'll see in the supermarket with the green shell. And I'm looking at the juvenile settlement, which we call SPAT. Uh, at the moment, they're collected from the wild in Kaitaia and then shipped all around New Zealand to all the different mussel farms. But I want to see if we can start catching them commercially in the Hauraki Gulf, which will relieve some of that pressure on the mussels in Kaitaia. Kaitaia is the only place where there is such an immense abundance of wild spat. Um, so they wash ashore attached to seaweed and then they collect it up um, in the millions. So one kilo of seaweed can have one million baby mussels attached. It's just incredible. I um, mean, it's just so economically feasible to collect them from that space. So we don't know where the parent population is. And so if anything should happen to the parent population or if there's an oil spill in that area or disease or parasites, it'll just really hurt the mussel industry because you won't have that constant supply of babies to seed onto the farms. They are genetically the same, there's been a few studies on that, um, but because of where they're collected there are behaviour differences. So because of the warm water in Kaitaia and the cold water in Marlborough, we found that they spawn at slightly different times. So what that means is if you grow them together, you can extend your harvesting season because they're spawning at different times, which means that they're yeah, better to eat at different times of the year.